Hello guys, in this video we will see how one can register themselves for uh, NASA Citizen Scientist program. So to participate in this program, there is no basic criteria or uh, basic requirements that you have to possess so that you can do this. All that you need is basic knowledge of uh, space, uh, very minimal is enough, even otherwise you can just develop by reading the uh, post they are giving and some basic knowledge on how to use computers and basic uh, notepad and stuff so I'll just take you through the process first you have to visit this link uh, I will drop this link in this link you will find the step-by-step -step procedure on how to register and what is citizen scientist program so you can read this blog to know what is uh, citizen scientist program offered by NASA and you can go through the step by step process to register yourself. So first you have to visit the uh, IASC Cosmos search program website. So I'll just copy this and paste this in a new tab. So this is the page where you can register yourself for IASC. IASC is International Asteroid Search Campaign or Collaboration uh, so you can register yourself for here where you will be uh, searching asteroids in near, el, near earth belt so the NASA can keep track of it and since NASA cannot pay a lot of people just to track asteroids in our uh, belt they are asking students and uh, working professional who are, are interested in uh, astronomy can participate and volunteer themselves in finding it so how do you actually do it so as we saw the first step is to visit this website and the second step is to search for available campaigns so how do we do it if you see on the top a lot of options like home campaign astronomica hall of fame and all so first we are in the home right now and we will go to campaigns once you go into campaigns you will find this where the campaign name and uh, number of teams will be visible right now when I am recording this video there are no campaigns available and number of teams is how many people register for that campaign but when there are campaigns you will see all the list of campaigns here uh, so the campaign is something where you can just register yourself if you want to learn more about campaigns you can do here and when there are campaigns available this is how it will look like so you can see here there are a lot of campaigns and the number of teams registered are also listed here so you can uh, select any one of the campaign I mean you can choose the name whatever you want to go with so if you see there are a lot the one which is very famous is international asteroid search campaign so this is the one which offers international students but if you go for something like uh, uh, astrophil asteroid search campaign this is specific to some country and if you go for mars is the uh, india asteroid search campaign that is also constrained to india and that is how it is also offering for every country like spaceport india asteroid search campaign within india there are a lot like uh, you can see here ignited minds sa citizen Saptarishi india asteroid search campaign also so there are a lot of ways through which a lot of campaigns through which you can register the one which is famous is international asteroid search campaign you can select according to your wish and once you do it the third step is registration so how to register yourself now you have to go to home and you have to click on this button register so just click register and it will take a registration page where they are giving some uh, basic criteria you need access to a windows computer and you need an internet connection so to register fill out the form provided in the link below be advised it may take a few days for IAC to process your registration request so when you click on this registration for a campaign you will get this page this is a PDF which you can download and or you can just directly fill online so this page helps you to fill it online or you can use any online PDF filling uh, website or any software which you have like Adobe PDF to fill the PDF and you can list any team name you can choose your own team name and your country and uh, you can list several number of team members here and the team 
members email id if available otherwise just the first one has to list their email id so why is it necessary is they will communicate all the information through this mail and the first one who is listed here will be default taken as team leader and after you fill all this you have to download it will automatically keep it saved and save the filled form and attach it in an email to the IAC coordinator Miss Cassidy Davis at IAC search at hsutx.edu so now let us just assume we have uh, filled in the form now we have to copy this mail and you have to go to mail and you can just send it now I'll show you how to send a mail now we will see how to send an email I mean the content so let's go to email or any preference now give compose and uh, you can paste the email id here and the subject will be registration to IAC campaign and once you go in here you can just greet them like uh, hello and her name which is Miss Cassidy Davis I would like to register my team for a campaign I have attached the registered form below please find attachment and don't forget to attach the PDF you can attach it by selecting here and once you have attached the file you can just send it and that is how you will be registering so what is the next step the next step will be confirmation so after you send the email you just wait for a week or two you will receive a confirmation that uh, you have been registered to the campaign else they will send you like the teams are full do you want to uh, register for the next campaign when it is available and if you give confirmation like yes i have to register i i would like to register for next available campaign they will keep you in the wait list and uh, they will just add you to the next available campaign or else they will also give options like do you want to register to any other campaign like if you selected international asteroid search campaign and there is something uh, some campaign available in india uh, they will ask it is available in your region do you want to participate in that and if you give confirmation they will add you there or else you can also ask like no please wait till next international last right search campaign is available you just add me there there is no difference between the campaigns the certificate you are going to get everything is same so it doesn't make much difference at all and the next thing will be if uh, there are less than four people in a team they will not usually prefer it but they can allow you uh, if you give confirmation like it is okay I just want two people or else they will ask you whether they can add two more people in your campaign or your team so suppose you have only two people in your team and uh, you think like you need two more people to fill in the team they will add either people who are individually registered like one people or two people registered to the uh, campaign they will just add them to your team or they can also add you to their team so anything can happen and only if you give confirmation or and if you say like no it is fine that I will stay with just two people or three people in my team or I will do it alone that is also fine they will allow anything and uh, it is not a problem so the next step after the confirmation will be sent through the uh, mail that is your login ID will be sent that is your email and password generally it is IAC Cosmos and it varies depending on the campaign and they will send it once the confirmation is sent and uh, after the confirmation they will give you all the rules and regulation and how to perform the 
uh, campaign and all so it will be very simple that you just go to IIC website and you can go to home and you can see get started and once you get started there is the instruction available it is very easy uh, how to set up the astronomical software it is a simple software which is used to do the asteroid search and there are a lot of rules uh, which will be very simple to understand so you can just get the quick start guide and once you go in here you will get a pdf and you can see all that is necessary to do the campaign they will also send everything in the mail so if you want to see what are the uh, detections already done that is the discoveries of asteroid already done you can go to this website and you can see all the list of asteroids that have been searched or uh, identified by even school students and all so this is very easy thing to do and you don't have to spend a lot of time in this uh, you can just do it for 15 to 20 minutes every day uh, the campaign lasts for about one month uh, or three weeks and three and a half weeks so in that duration you can just spend 20 to 30 minutes a day and if you want to spend more you can just spend so that depends on uh, your availability so after all this uh, you will start your work and once the one month is over you will get certification and certificates are uh, a simple thing that you just did it a valid uh, validation and all so that is not much of uh, how to say a use anywhere or it is not something that you can use again to get into nasa and all it is just a validation that you did this for one month so it is a very simple thing and if you want to do it and participate in asteroid search and if you want your name to come in this list that you have named an asteroid the cool thing is you get to name your own asteroids so the asteroids which you identify you get to name it uh, they have given a certain code uh, like how to name it Th there is a general format but within that you can just name it however you want so it's a cool thing if you want to register you just register and uh, I'll drop the link to this blog you can follow the step-by-step -step procedure and thank you